Good evening, and welcome to a slightly crusty audio, uh, stream. Uh, so... Not much, uh, surprise here. I've been saying I wanted to do this for weeks. Uh, I am doing Salado Robo. Months, actually. I'm doing Salado Robo, Red the Hunter, for the Nintendo DS. Uh, this game came out ten years ago, about ten years and two weeks ago. So it's tenth anniversary just passed. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, I just streamed, uh, Tail Concerto earlier this year, so why not? Uh, this is a follow-up to Tail Concerto on, from the PS1. Uh, you'll see it's a lot different in tone, and it's, uh, it's really good. It's fun. Also, game looks really nice because I'm playing it on, um... Alright, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm, no, I'm playing this not legitimately. I'm playing it on, um... Melon DS, which has an ability to upscale the graphics to what they actually look like, uh, versus what they look like on the DS itself. So, like, I could just show this off really quickly. Uh, this is what it looks like normally. Very pixelated. It looks, it looks clean, but obviously not super high quality. But using, uh, OpenGL rendering, it could actually, uh, render the objects in, like, the proper quality here, like like what it looks like if the files were extracted and uncompressed. It does have kind of a trade-off in that um, the sound quality is a little lower and sometimes the frame rate drops a bit. It's because the game's running at like 58, 59 frames a second instead of 60. So it's a little crustier in the audio, but it's kind of worth it for the quality upgrade. If it gets bad or slows down, uh, I'll definitely lower it. I'll, I'll change it back to software rendering. This is going to be the start of pretty... Well, not the start, because I've done these before. I've done the DS games a long time ago. But, uh... This is kind of the start of the DS era for me. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of these streams going forward. I have uh, Golden Sun Dark Dawn planned for next month. And that game, uh... Has some slowdown, but I'll be able to deal with it. Yep, new game. Also, welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah. Again, this is a sequel... A follow-up sequel to, uh, Tail Concerto on the PlayStation 1, which I streamed earlier this year. I actually did not realize this game's 10th anniversary was this year, and I just went with it. Uh, but yeah, uh, you'll see you'll see what it's all about as I get into it. Uh, the text boxes here are going to be a little scratchy just because of the upscaling. Uh, my Pro Controller has like the blue light around the home button, and I don't know what that represents. So this game uses 3D and, like, really high-quality sprite work, like, multi-part sprites. Kind of like the Pokémon in, uh, Gen 5, just to a much higher degree. But yeah, this looks gorgeous on this, uh, emulator. It looks way better than it does on the actual DS. Some of the sprites won't look much better, but the 3D models will definitely look much higher quality than they used to. Also, this is a dual screen thing, but um, most of the action takes place on the bottom screen. Bringing you the latest news. The Western Shepherd Republic was shaken awake by an earthquake early this morning. These cutscenes are few and far between in terms of the like double screen stuff. stuff. The Envirospec Division has just released an announcement that this morning's quake may be related to the other simultaneous quakes that have occurred. Okay, now we're getting really close to the target. Sneaking into a cargo ship to get a file. This better pay well. It will, if you can pull it off. If? Did you say if? Who do you think you're talking to? Look at them teeth. When I get down to work, there's just no stopping me. Haha. <laughs> so you're gonna see you're gonna see like some weird glitches here and there, like our visual glitches, but it's it's worth it overall. At least so far from what I've seen. Prologue, initial emergence. Okay, let me how do you connect a Pro Controller to a PC? Uh, you just connect it wirelessly. Release systems, all green. Okay, let's do this. Okay! Starting countdown. 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. 
Have fun and be careful out there! Did I keep the, uh... No, it's, it's on high quality, okay. Yeah, you just connect it wirelessly to Bluetooth, and it should just connect. So this is, um... Yes, a lot of Robo. So this is, um, this is what got me to stream this in this quality, because, like, comparing it to software rendering, that's just a pixelated mess on the stream. So it's, like, way better like that. How's everything? Were there any hiccups? Oh, that was too loud, sorry. Gotta say, it was a perfect landing onto the Hindenburg. Also, I'm getting my A and B's mixed up. The client wants us to retrieve a stolen confidential file. It should be in a special room somewhere deep inside the cargo ship. <laughs> you know what to do! Uh, it's been a while. Use the plus control pad to run, jump with the B button, jump to avoid obstacles and reach hot places. Okay. So this is a DS game, it runs on an 8 direction. You can do that. You can also do this, which I keep forgetting about. Okay. I have my menu buttons mixed up. I'll say, how you doing, uh, Booms Day? Oh, what are these boxes? I'll just have to move them out of my way. Oh, I skipped it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. I better get used to that. So, the primary battle functions in this game are grab things, throw things. That kind of boils down to the, uh, the basics there. Are you sure the shock didn't, from the landing didn't damage anything? Huh? You talking about my robot? The Dahak's never been better. Oh, shush. Just run a check, okay? Game menu with X. Select what next if you get to what to do. Review current objective. What? It closed itself! And it's locked up tight. All we can do is keep going forward. Uh-oh, look out! Aw, oh, man, this is actually kind of hard to reach chat, just because the screens are so big on my end. Happy to see a lot of Robo stream. I've wanted to do this for a while. I just had so many other games to play, and I want to finish this before Hyrule Warriors comes out. Cute bird playing a cute fox, that's important. Slamming robots to the ground repeatedly. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, oh man, I gotta figure out how to get the chat to, like, be more visible here, because it's... in the way. This, this, my screen's in the way. Maybe if I move this all the way to the top. Yeah, there we go. At least I could see the stuff coming in now. Nondescript canine, but yeah. Well, he's a dog. Dog man. Dog boy. You must be the intruder! Yeah, I wasn't exactly invited in, but, you know... Like it or not, I'm crashing this party. Little punk. Got a smart mouth, huh? Your life gauge will appear at the bottom left of the touch screen. Take damage and it will decrease. Lose it all and it's game over. Move close to an enemy. Press the A button to grab and lift. Grab. Then you just mash the A button to lift. Grab the flipped over enemy and throw him to inflict damage. You can also damage two enemies at once by throwing one into another. Yeah, and if you hold down A, uh, it's a more powerful throw. Defeat enemies to earn experience. Earn enough and you'll level up. Level up and your maximum life gauge will increase a small amount. Next, at the bottom right side of the top screen, shows the points needed to go up another level. Come on, and slam. Yes. <laughs> don't think we Kurvas are going to forget this. Kurva. Is it Va? I don't know if the Z is pronounced. Kurvas. Did he say Kurvas? Wow, I'd sure like to get... Uh, I'd sure like to avoid getting caught up in a fight with a big guild like them. Battle end. So yeah, touch screen's gonna be on, or top screen's gonna be on the right because it's mostly unused. It's a map level and uh, how many, how much money you have. 
most of the action takes place on the bottom screen. Red, heads up at 3 o'clock. No way. A Kervaz battlecruiser? Captain, just received a telegram from the Hindenburg. Bird. Hindenburg. <laughs> Pew! Hey, how you doing? Another intruder sighted. This time it's some guy on a robot. Ugh, ugh, what? You, you mean that buffoon over there? Hello, ladies. If you want a piece of this tail, come and get it. What are you doing? Cut that out. Don't anger them. Oh, they're all bark. What are they gonna do? Shoot me or something? Shoot them. Fire. Fire. No way. They fired. They actually fired. They gotta be crazy. Grab missiles and other flying objects with the A button and throw them back. This does not get used that often. The the fly the, the hover thing. It also is very, very hard to use that right on the actual DS because ow, uh You cannot mash that fast on the uh normal DS. Oh now I am angry! I am furious! Fire, fire, blow him away! Captain Grumpf, stop this madness. We're shooting at the Hindenburg. That's one or two lost ships in the line of duty. Now fire! Ah, crew, we've got no choice but to restrain the idiot. Uh, Captain. What are you doing? Get your mutinous paws away from me. I like that they spell the accent out so I don't have to figure it out on my own. Looks like the Kervaz have their own paws full, just like me. Trying to say something? Hold on. Let me, uh... It looks good on the preview back there. That's the engine room. That's the phone. I only use it during bosses, but once you get the S model, it basically does does it for you with the spin. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Hmm. The lift is down. I can't get across. I put the emphasis on the wrong word there. There should be a switch nearby. Get off your robot and search for it. Ow. That noise. Press the Y button to get off your robot. And on it. Target the item you want to search and press the A button. You can find items by searching sparkling areas. Only sparkle when they get close to them. The Hawk's not designed to operate small, delicate panels like that. Try getting off your robot and then do a search. Bow. Oops. I The buttons are matching the Pro Controller too, so I don't know why I keep messing it up. Great, the lift's working. Now we can get going. This is essentially Mega Man. This is furry Mega Man Legends. In instead of Mega Man, you have Red. And instead of uh, Roll, you have Chocolat. 300 rings. God, this looks so good with this upscaler. I'm so glad I, I uh, opted to go for that. Pixelated meat. Collecting meat will restore some of your life. Meat can sometimes be found by destroying barrels. Wall chicken. Use the lift to go down. The room should be somewhere down there. Heard we had a feel of Neko sneaking around here. You the leader? Cool. Leader? Whatever. Get out of my way. Advanced battle tutorial. Wait, what? After an enemy does an attack, look for an opening to grab that enemy. When an enemy is flipped over and falling, a combo ring will surround that enemy. Grab that enemy in midair and throw it again to perform a combo. Throw enemies while jumping for a more powerful combo. Okay. I was doing that before. Okay. 
Oh, right, now I remember. If you, um... Yeah, if you do that and that. Yeah. You could do that up to three, I believe. Oh. The game also does run on box, like, battlefields, so, like, you can't throw them over railings towards other enemies, unfortunately. Just you wait till I get out of the hospital. Ugh. Remake ever happens, I'd love a full VA and expanded dungeon and combat systems. Just being able to fit so much more than an already great DS game would be amazing. I would definitely be up for that. I would love to just see the whole series get redone, honestly. I feel like Tail Concerto would be a hard game to, uh remake, though, just because of all the hands in that pot. I guess I'm not the only uninvited guest at this party. I think he said it was a Fila Neko, right? Someone got here before us? Well, I better get to that loot first. Get that. I think this is where we do the off, uh... Fur balls! There's no way across! I'm up for anything being remade with full voice acting, honestly. I heard Nocturne's remake has full voice acting, but the Switch version is not good. That's a bit upsetting. Hey, look! There's a door over there! You'll have to go down this ladder. Ladders can only be used after getting off your robot. Use the A button to get on the ladder and the control pad to climb. It's the opposite of Evangelion. Red has to get out of the robot. Intruder. I thought you'd come here. God, an ambush! You're not equipped to fight without your robot. Avoid that enemy and find a way to that door. When not riding your robot, press the A button to use the stun gun. We'll stop enemies, but will not cause any damage. It's the stealth section, sort of. It's not really stealth. You, you barely ever use this. That's a whole lot of buttons. Which one do you think it is? Why don't you just try fussing around with all of them? Maybe it's the big red button, right there. So unlike, um, unlike Tail Concerto, there is no- there are no pits in this game. This game does not run off of, a, like, a life system. Now you can cross! Alright, let's get a move on. There's no time to lose. Yeah, this game just auto-stops you from falling down pits, if there are any. Also, the range on the stun gun is not very good. It's like two inches in front of me. Also, most cutscenes can be skipped in this game, so this is probably a pretty good speedrun game. Hey, you said this was the way, and look, it's a dead end! But they were supposed... There, look on the floor! Oh, I know. I've seen a switch like this one before. Yes, in my room. Plugged into my dock. So what now? Um, it turns on when you put something heavy on it, so... Placing something heavy, like a robot or a container, onto a switch will turn it on. Oops. What's that? Wait a minute. Little glitch there. Press the A button to put down the lifted object. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, there's a little glitch with the high-quality thing where it's, like, not clipping correctly into that arrow. Uh, I think it'll work if I turn it off. There you go, it's open. You 
freight room, vault walkway. I believe there's a fight here. Not good. It's starting to get dark. I'll have trouble picking you up if I can't see. Hurry. Use dash to move faster. Press the B button twice on the ground to dash. Oh, save point. Wow, I forgot about those. Huh? What's this thing? It's a save point. Use it to save your progress. A save point can be used to save progress. The story when restart. Okay, yeah. Searching a save point will also fully recover all of your life. Save to unlock the following options. Quest download Air Drobo GP. Uh, quest download, I don't think we could do anything with on this. Also, this game does... Wait, hold on. This game, yeah, look, this game does this thing with this font that I hate, where the M's are, like, just an N with, like, an extra wide left point. It's just an unfortunate side effect of the DS's low resolution. This definitely looks like the place. There's definitely... Oh, uh, this looks like the place. There's definitely something here. And no sign of anybody. I think you made it here first, even though we clearly went through the whole ship. Don't speak too soon. Still need to find the confidential file. So, uh, let's get to it. Underwear. What you find? Nothing, just a note full of numbers. Nine. That's gotta be it. Should be a memo of cash transactions. Why you? <laughs> well then, mission accomplished. It's in my hands now. Yeah, I got the file. So, where's all that bonus loot you mentioned earlier? Bonus loot! I guess they hit it all, you know? Red, you see that wall? It reminds me of the door, of the door in the other room. Well, You think it could be open too? Maybe, but that would mean somewhere around here should be... There, it's the same switch as before. But there aren't any containers in here. Isn't there something else that's heavy that can be used? Like your dense skull? That did it! What's in that? What's that in there? I'll check it out. I'm thinking losers weepers. I'm taking it. A medallion, and even fancier than its casing. What's that light? What's going on? Honk. Big dude. <laughs> that graphical glitch. And with this stupid move, he just doomed the whole world. Yes, he did. Talk to me. What is going on? I don't know. Just get out of there. Roger that. He summoned a kaiju. He summoned uh, a thing from the last game. What the heck is this? I don't know, I've never seen anything like it before. Why was the text box like not crawling right there? Well take a good look because it isn't gonna be here much longer. Red, you fucked it all up for everyone. Oops. Nope, we don't want that. And if you get the full three combo, it does even more damage. Get out of there quick. The ship's losing altitude really fast. I'm on it. Huh. 
Uh, Red, hurry! I'm moving. What the? An unconscious kid? What are you doing? Get out of there! Save the kid or leave the kid to die. Kid might be dead already. Red! Oh, fur balls! Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Hang in there! And thus, by chance, the two met. Or so it seemed. They had never met at all. It was all a dream. Time had yet to reveal that their encounter had been fated. Alright, forgot about the opening. Good times. I have the uh, version of this game with the soundtrack CD. Which was amazing because I got it like five years after it came out. And this game is pretty rare. is a good song. The other variation is good too. I have a goal for this week and that's to get to a certain point by Wednesday and if I do that then I'm probably going to take... Oh look at that. It was like a JoJo to be continued. Uh, funny meme. Modius Bridge. Phew, that was a lot more than we bargained for, huh? Seriously, I didn't think I'd make it out alive. I wonder what that huge monster was that was that hit the cargo ship. The huge monster, those small black things. I have no idea. You know about that kid you saved. Modius cabin. Look how cozy that looks. I would love to live in that. Cat. Could he be the one who snuck onto the Hindenburg before us? Probably. Well, I'm just glad neither of you were badly hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing. The Asmodeus took a beating, though. Let's do a quick checkup. Kitty. We'll start here, the bridge. Select save here to record the progress of our adventure. You can also use next destination to pick where we visit next. We'll go to the cabin next. The kid is sleeping, so be quiet, okay? <laughs> Red just ps, 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 to get him to get to get him to eat. This is the cabin. The audio and theater here let you enjoy music or movies, but you won't be doing any of that. There's also stuff to read and look at in the album in the library. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I actually went through all of the supplemental material in Legend of Mana last night, and there's a lot of it, but so much of it was pointless. The entire world history thing, like none of it gets touched upon in the game. It was all backstory. That's just like some of it relates to it, but most of it. I'd say like 60 out of the 72 pages were, was not brought up in the game at all. And just there's like extra lore. You mean there will be stuff? We haven't gotten anything yet. And that's about it. Looks like our ship is in good shape. Oh, we better get going soon. We need to report to our client, Quebec. Pick next destination from the next de destination? Cool. Next destination from the bridge. Whoa, -oh, what happened? Did my stream just like blink for a second? I 
saw it dim. Okay, I think it's okay. Still trying to get all the lore. I think I got everything in this game, because I beat this game three times on the DS, but I am definitely not playing through this three times on stream. I wasn't sure what's happening, but well, I'm safe now. Back to Airedale to report to the client, although I didn't exactly get the confidential file. But you did. Once I do that, I'll wipe my fire and start over and do it again and again. I'm pretty sure I unlocked everything in all of these. But there's some that have, like, weird unlock conditions, if I'm not mistaken. Airedale. On the next destination screen, select a destination to go to there, air and you'll fly to that, blah, 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 blah. Next to advance the story. So yeah, there's quests, there's hunter ranks, there's all this fun stuff. Chapter 1, Contract with You. I mean, there's supposed to be like three future entries to this game, to the series, and they just, none of them just ever happened. There was, what was it, Strelka Stories? That never happened. Um, there was the mobile phone game, but there was no real story to that. And then I think there's supposed to be a third game that they announced, uh, recently, or they're going to announce. Let's go and see Quebec right away, Red, okay? No goofing off. Did you- you want Big Piggy? Main Street, right? Yes, um, just keep going straight to the north of the port. This looks so good on, with the upscaler on. The map is displayed in the top screen. The map makes it easy to see which rooms and locations are connected. White dots mark the entrances. The question mark will be shown at the destination. Okay. Exclamation point. The question mark. Frank Youth. Hey, have you heard about the huge statue-like monster that appeared? Have you seen it? Goes to the east sector. Main Street is down the middle, the other path. Also, the music in this game is just amazing. I think it's by the same person that did the uh, dot hack soundtracks, because it is CyberConnect that made this game. Fuga is still happening, just taking longer than expected. Got it. I don't, I don't even know what systems it's on. I hope it comes to Switch if it does happen. Hey, Quebec. Uh, we're back. Red, Red, good to see ya. So, mission accomplished. Look at his teeth, they're so yellow. And then it got real crazy, like we barely survived, you know? Really now? That does all sound pretty fur raising. For real. Right? So, there's no need to be stingy just because that file got our ball burned up and all that, right? It's a tough job, but no file, no pay. Capiche? Get out of here. Ah! Confirmed for Switch. Nice. That's a day one stream if it comes out over here. Uh, I knew it. You didn't get paid, did you? But you know, we don't even have any fuel left. I got an idea. We could try selling this medallion. Quebec said it was just a toy, right? Not worth anything? Oh. We need to find some work, any work, and start saving up. Yeah. So get on with it. Go see the quest broker. You know, Flo, and ask for some work. She's right over there, by the sign. Go on, get on with it. So you had a tough break with the Hindenburg and all. I feel ya. Hello there, how may I help you today? I need a big adventure with an even bigger payoff. Uh, I see. Well, we have some work, um, but it's nothing big. We'll take it. Oh. Battle rehearsal. Each quest is a set hunter rank required to undertake it, and a number of quest points received upon completing it. Your hunter rank will increase by one for every ten quest points you earn. 
Completion quest with the star mark are required to advance the story. I need someone to give my custom robot a full-on battle test. Anyone who thinks they can fight, come on. I'm waiting at the parts store. Suzette. Reward 500, uh, rings. Yeah, rings! Sounds more like a challenge than a job request. Suzette is in the parts store. That's really close. Let's go and check it out. Top screen. Well then, good luck. The audio is really- the audio mixing too, with the fading in and out, is really nice. Dade. Psst, buddy, looking for parts? That shop ain't got what you need. But I have, buddy. I have. Uh, so this dude sells incredibly rare parts, or hard to get parts, that uh, I probably will not be buying this playthrough because you do not need them on cycle one. So busy, so busy. Why is there so much work to do here? <laughs> Sorry about this, I'm still setting up. Hello. I'm not a customer, I've come to fight you, actually. Aha, you have. You look kind of weak, though. You sure about this? Whatever, I'll fight you. Come on around to the warehouse out the back. That doesn't look like you in there. That looks like a Kervaz soldier. Here's my baby, my masterpiece, the Suzette Custom 7. Take a good look. This beauty is going to knock your robot into scrap. That's right. It's going to rock you right into scrap. Come on, then. Battle time. How can my Suzette custom lose? Your robot is something else. Red doesn't even say anything. He just gloats quietly. Let me take a look, will ya? Hey, pause off. Don't go messing with my Dahak. So it's called Dahak, huh? Wh what? This robot is totally untouched, like vanilla. No customization at all? Huh? Customization? Sounds delicious. You're not living up to your potential like this. I'll have to teach you. Hey, hold it! Convenient, uh... Tutorial quests. Here's your first custom lesson. I'll start by giving you this. Hydraulics plus one. What's this? It's a part. You can use them to customize your robot. Use customize to set parts and power up the Dahak. You can open the customize menu from the main screen. Parts are set in black empty spots. Parts come in various shapes and can be rotated using the L and R buttons. It's the Navi Customizer! Empty slots can be opened up by using the number of P-Crystals shown under the, on the lid. Uh, on the, the... On their lid. P-Crystals can be found in many places in the game. That's how it all works. Got all that? Try setting up the part I just gave you first. I will. Thanks for all the advice. No problem. You could thank me by properly buying by bleh, bleh. No problem. You could thank me properly by buying parts from my store. Music note. Here's a reward for your time, too. Uh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Red would just waste it anyway. She's got your number, huh? I won't lose next time. Just wait and see. Clear. Lots of opportunities to save here. When customizing, pay attention to the shape of the part and the shape of the empty slot. If the part doesn't look like it will fit, try rotating it. You might be pleasantly surprised. Step up, step up, take a good long look. Oh, they sell some good stuff here, but I uh, cannot afford these. Also, buying the bigger parts are kind of pointless when you don't have enough slots to unlock them.
Take parts from the toolbox and set them. This lid is closed. We open by using P crystal. So you can't. You got to open them in order. I don't think you could do like the back one first. It's also impossible to unlock all of them in one playthrough. I think you need to do at least two or three to get all the slots open. Influence is lifting power. Lift gauge fills up faster. So yeah, attack, defense. Those are kind of uh, mobility. Those are all um, self-explanatory. Hydraulics says right there lifts up faster. Revive automatically brings you back when you fall, but uh, those parts are not permanent. They just uh, they get used up. So I guess we'll just stay with hydraulics plus one. You also get different stats depending on uh, which robot you use, because later you get other models. More money for fuel. One, two, three. Okay, good. It's enough to fill the gas tank, at least. I sweat blood working for that money, you know. Okay, okay, here's your allowance. Be a good boy. That's all? That's more than enough. Now let's get back to the Asmodeus. I wonder if that child you rescued is awake. Ah. Ah. Wait, how do you do that? Like, what changes during a second playthrough? Um, the crystals, I think, just regenerate, so you just get more of them. Because you get them now, like, because this is the thing, when you, if you look, the further out you go, the more these cost. Like, these only cost five, but then you got 15s and 10s all around here. So, like, you'll get, like, maybe 30 on one playthrough, unlock those, and maybe, like, one other square, and then you'll get 30, well, it's more than 30, it's like 40 or 50. But I think you get, like, 40, 50 each, um, each playthrough. So by the third one, you should have all of them unlocked. Because in total, you need, like... I don't know. It's a lot of numbers for me to count, even though it's very easy. His low poly model was very cute. I, I like the, um... It, it, it's, it's nice and it looks better than what it actually looks like on the DS, too. We've got no requests at the moment. Quest requests. Requests. Re colon quests. Oh, I can go over here. Get off the robot, Red. Oh, there's a crystal. I believe they come in sets of one, two, and three, depending on uh, where you get them. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. There's a few things you unlock on other playthroughs. The game's harder and you get more crystals and uh, robots. Other than that, though, it's exactly the same. One point. I kind of played through the game three times in one go after I got sick of it after two, and I was like, oh, why did I do this? Sorry. Can't let you go to the upper class neighborhood unless you got business there. Nice segregation. Oh, my neck. Anything with our new guest? Anything new with our guest? Oh my god. I hate having dyslexia. Let me go see. The unidentified giant that appeared over Central Shepherd. Maybe some sort of weapon of mass destruction. According to... Hello. Hey, you're awake. How do you feel? Where am I? My almighty ship, the Asmodeus. We're at the port in Airedale. We love messing around with the other robots, so I definitely want two more. On the third playthrough, you get some incredibly overpowered ones, including one that looks like uh, Ava Unit 1. It's really nice. The Hindenburg. Please tell me what happened to that cargo ship. Oh boy, you should have seen it. Went down in flames. But, but, what about the medallion? 
Medallion? Oh, you mean... This old thing? Ah! Uh, give it back to me, I beg you! Whoa, a little excited, are we? No, no, just... May I just take a look at it, please? I guess... My goodness! It's been activated? Well, what? What are you talking about? No, it can't be... you? Well, it did kind of flash when I first touched it. But that's impossible. Without performing the right... What are you saying? Speak more clearly so I can understand. Fighting already? Can you... Can you... Can you just try to be nice to our guest? I work all day and then do this. Of course, I'm not going to speak right. I'm sorry. My brother's so immature. I'm going to go find some more work. And I'll get things ready for departure. And this mysterious boy is just like, I don't give a shit. Good day to you, my friend. How may I help you today? Got any good gigs for me? Well, we have a few new jobs posted. Have a look. All fighters welcome photo photograph retrieval. Someone has stolen a special series of precious photographs from my house. I want them back when waiting at View Park. Please see Barry at the View Park for more details. Vendor. Is she ever gonna wake up? Convenient roadblock. <laughs> cash. Lovely cash. I could swim in it. Oh, now I'm drowning. <sighs> Hold it. You're not going to rob my store. I know Kung Fu. Okay, I'm just walking to the door. You there, the hunter with a face that could only love adventure. How about a painted plate to bring back those dramatic memories of your life? Buy a painted plate and you can view events from the past at any time. Plate you buy will increase as you could increase the story, uh, story, blah, blah, blah. You can view painted plates from the cabin on the Asmodeus. Hey, you feeling the waves? Cool. Very beautiful set pieces in this game. You can just kind of interact with. Do you want a memento of your adventure? On a memento. Red infiltrate. Okay, yeah, these are just um, these are just cutscenes that you could rebuy. This game has a lot of collectibles. This game. This game is just gorgeous in general. something? Oh, that giant monster? I was kind of surprised, but not much, though. I so want to tell him. That man over there, you know? I let him know my feelings. I have to... just have to before the giant statue monster attacks our town. Yeah, every every uh, area having its own like environment is really cool, especially when you get to the later ones.
Have a nice day. Okay. I mean, just real. Oh, you like uh, red kind of like. Yeah, he raises his hands. I thought he was like waving. I'm always watching you. Look, there's a bird on his thing. It's a shame Silly Ham is so small because it's genuinely breathtaking. Yes! Can't wait to get to there. They have explored. Are you Barry? The one who had his photo stolen? Ooh. That's me. Four kittens tore through my house and carried off a number of my most precious photographs. Kittens, you say? What did they look like? Let me think. All four of them had striped shirts with vests. They ran to the right of this park. Go catch them and get my photographs back. Okay, okay, I'm going. No need to cling to me. Hey. Huh? You got a problem? He's wearing a striped shirt with a vest. He could be our robber. You there, stolen any photos recently? Ah, I've been made. Give him back right away and I'll let you off with a cuff around the ears. See ya. Hey, hold it. Red, get after him. You ran off up there. Yeah, stop right there, thief. He must have gone up these steps. Pretty sure he came up here, so where's he hiding? I wonder where he could be. There you are. I've caught you. Now give the photos back. <laughs> the photos are the property of the Black Cats Gang. The Black Cats Gang? If you want them back, then come and get them. Why, you little... Come here! Obtained a fragment of the How Are Things photo. The photo is mine! Ah, you swine! What is this? There's only one ripped piece! That's too bad. We ripped all the photos up. Ripped them up, so where are the other pieces? I don't know. Guess my comrades have carried them off. But they are all skilled at hiding themselves. You'll never find them. Barry said that there were four of thieves. So where are the other three? Bye bye Hey, hold it! Don't run off again! Guess we just have to go looking for the other three. Hold it. I'm sure I just heard a voice. From inside the warehouse. Ha! Skilled at hiding, are they? Amateurs! Didn't realize the kittens were a reference until a few chapters in, so I was generally shocked at how different they look design-wise. Where's your nose? Yeah, those are the, um, kittens from Tail Concerto. There's no one here. Are you sure the voice came from in here? Absolutely, they're here. It's not just a hunch, it's a strong hunch. Grab. Toss. <laughs> I knew it! Found you! Ah, adios! There's no escape for me! And this was how you got photo fragments in the, uh... Actually, was it how you got photo fragments in the other game? I don't know, I can't, can't remember. It's only been a few months since I played it, I should remember. Gotcha! This torn piece of a photo is mine. Ah, you'll regret this! You couldn't escape from me in a hundred years! Ah... Red, only one more left to find. love for its character design. It's like pseudo-edgy, but not really. It looks cool. It's meant to look cool, and it does look cool. 
Photo fragments have become a full photo of you in the Asmodeus' cabin. That was a lot of work, but now I've got that last piece back. Oh no, my photo piece! Looks like I got a full photo together, but lots of them were stolen, right? Hey you, where are the rest of the photo pieces? I don't know. Don't tell me the rest of your gang buddies have carried them off. <laughs> They're gone, buddy. Long gone. S seriously And now we're gone, too. I still need to talk to you. Hold on. Ah, they all got away. They sure can run fast. And I can't do anything else here. Guess I'll let the client know what's happened. Hey again, I've got one of the photos back. What happened? It's been all ripped up. Ah, it was like that when I found it. Oh no, my precious collection! N no need to get so down. Yeah, at least I have the backups. I don't care about the photos anymore. You don't, but there's still more out there, right? I don't need them back. You could have them if you could find them. Kittens have gone into hiding across the world. Find them and get the torn pieces of the photos. Find four torn pieces of the same photo to restore it. View the pieces and completed photos you have in the album in the cabin. Once you've gathered a decent sized collection, show them to Barry for a reward. I almost forgot. Here's your reward for the work. The photo may have been ripped into pieces, but you did get all the pieces back. Thanks. I feel so bad about this. Those kittens are gonna pay. You know what? I'm gonna catch them all and get all the pieces back. Really? If you do manage to collect the photos, uh, show them to me, will you? Sure, just wait and see. I'll get them all back. Good luck with that. Clear! Collecting photos by the... Okay, we've... we've... This game loves its, uh, loves its tutorial pop-ups. Movement in this game is so nice, too. All fighters welcome. My name is Quentin, and I'm a fight promoter. I'm always looking for new fighters for the dual ship. If you think you have what it takes, come to the port. The dual ship, huh? I wonder what it's like. What? Haven't you heard anything about it? Well, I've heard it's a place where people fight using robots. So you don't know much. Oh, shush. I'll know more about it when I get there, okay? Please go to the port to the south. Good luck. Okay. That was a fortune teller there. I... I am meditating. Disturb me and I'll put the three-day curse on you. Oh, the mist is parting. Yes, yes. The three-day curse is what I get after eating White Castle. Yeah, poop jokes! Hello. Are you the promoter for the dual ship fights? Me? That is correct, and who might you be? I'm Red. I've accepted your request to appear in a duel. Oh, you have? Let's take a look, then. Ha! <laughs> look at that slack-jawed face. These bumpkins never amount to much. Huh? Something you want to say? Not at all. I'm just thrilled to have met a wonderful fighter in a place like this. G great but you're glad I found your- bet you're glad I found your posting, eh? Red, I will now lead you into the world of dual ship fighting. Great! Are you ready to head there now? I would like to get moving. Shall we go? Yeah, why not? Let's get over there now. Excellent. Let us depart to my castle, the dual ship. Dual Destinies. Ah, this place. You're going to be seeing a lot of this. Oh, my arms. They cracking. So this is the dual ship. Sorry. 
to be more precise, this is the reception deck. Why not take a look around and then come talk to me? Okay. <laughs> and you are fit to lick my boots. Oh god, why are we making this weird? <laughs> oh, you're mine. I own you. You are mine, baby. Ow. Alrighty, then please follow me to the waiting room. This is gonna be so cool. So, uh, can you, uh, I don't know why I tried to mimic you for a second there. So, uh, can you give me some details on how these duels are fought? Each duel comprises of three rounds, with the winner of each proceeding to the next. The first round is about to start. Red, the time has finally come. Are your customizations all in order? If you need some parts, come to the... Uh, good, uh, blah, blah, blah. If you need some parts, talk to the worker there on the right to buy them. Then go to the counter once your preparations are complete. Take part in round one. Uh, wait, no. Let me talk to people. Give me a minute. I better check things over again. Very well. Please come talk to me once you're ready to take part. How are your robot's parts? We've got some good stuff here. Uh, plus ten. They got the plus ten level stuff. I don't want to spend the rings on it right now because I want to figure out what I have to customize in. There's plenty of time to waste uh, streams doing that later. Let's rumble! Very well. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be rooting for you from the audience. Wow, I bungled that up. The first round should be child's play for you. Just go wild out there. Win or lose, just make sure you go out with a bang, kid. This is my big debut. I'll show off some of my slick moves. Yeah, moves! Ladies and gentlemen, it's the time you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the Duel Ship Rookie Tournament. We have a selection of brave souls from across the islands here today. Which of them will stand as king above all others? Round one is about to start. Clear G Gundam reference with that dude, because didn't the announcer in G Gundam have an eye patch? Like a bolt of red lightning from which his name is taken. The one and only, the lone robot writer, Red. That's me. I pity whoever faces me. Red, you better win this. Let's see what you got, rookie. Look at that flat dude in that robot. <laughs> one man fighting to support his family of ten. My eye patch took sides on my head for some reason. His youngest daughter has just about uh, his youngest daughter has just been born. Give a big hand to the fighting father. I got mounts to feed if I win. We're gonna have a big steak tonight. Yay, I'm starving too. Buy me a steak too. And the announcer's design is great. Round one? Ready? Yeah, there you go. He says it. Hooked it. I believe they all speak in French, because that's kind of the theme here. We have our winner! Victory in the first round goes to the lone robot rider, Red! Hawk and I are invincible. Brad, you're awesome. A supportive uh, sister. Oh, how strong and heroic. I think because it's like supposed to be a different region than Tail Concerto, and Tail Concerto was definitely more, I guess, just English and Japanese. Oh, speaking of Tail Concerto, I didn't realize you could see um the prince and uh, the princess and the knight up in the audience there. My, my, impressive.
That red fellow, I sense he's a real diamond in the rough. I must admit to being interested in him myself. I shall go to greet him. Ah, uh, hold on, Princess Theria! He was Waffle's rival in Tail Concerto. Red, 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 superb, you work the crowd like a professional. You must maintain this momentum. Keep the crowd going wild. You can do it. No problem. I better go get ready for it then. You there. Nice to meet you. A question, can I? Oh wait, no, I have to have this window active. I was going to see if I can maybe just run it, play it from the uh, stream preview so I could save space. STR seems to take more inspiration from France and Italy with some other stuff thrown in. Got it. Alright, wait. I'm, I'm lowering my screen just a bit because I want to see how long I'm streaming here. Who are you guys? I'm a little busy right now. Watch your mouth. Do you have any idea who this is? She is no other than Princess Theria, the Princess of Prairie Kingdom. Cyan, please, we are here incognito, even though we didn't change our designs at all. Didn't we agree to that? Okay, so what does a princess want with me? You are so strong, Red. I was quite excited to see you fight in that battle. I'm not really all that. I do my best and stuff, but, you know... <laughs> such naivete. From my experienced eyes, you are as open and exposed as a cheese full of holes. Jeez. But you are not without promise. I shall teach you about battle myself. It's okay. No, no need to thank me. Uh, excuse me, sir? What are you talking about? The second round is about to start. That's my call. I'll be supporting you too, Sir Red. Please fight bravely. Uh, okay. Thank you. I cannot accept anything less than your best now that you are my apprentice. Apprentice to you? I never agreed to that. See you later, anyway. Make a good account of yourself in front of the princess, you hear? I shall be praying for your victory in battle. Your opponents will gradually get stronger. Keep the energy of the crowd going wild, Red, just like the first match. Victors from the first round have now returned to fight again. Which of these two will proceed to the final round? Round two is about to start. Those sharp and confident eyes let no prey escape. The one and only lonely robot rider, Red! Come on, let's rumble! Red. Red, may victory be yours! Having turned his back on his former comrades, a soulless soul now appears. Here he is, a former Kurvaz soldier. I can't work under that captain any longer. This is where my legend starts. Do it! Show us what you got! Hold on, that robot! Red! What do you want? I'm about to start fighting here! The opponent. He has significantly upgraded his armor. Only combo attacks will be able to cause any kind of damage. Combo attacks. I do have some mid-combo air mid-air combo skills, but that's it then. You need to attack him using your mid-air combo. Oh shut up, I don't need your advice. Although maybe I should brush up uh Although maybe I should brush up on my mid-air combo technique just in case. Jump and grab an enemy, sort of mid-air combo. Mid-air can be chained up to three times, but missing a chain will grab the uh, grab and the chain. Ugh. You also dash and grab an enemy to start a mid-air combo. I don't need him to tell me anything. Mid-air combo is my middle name. Round two. Ready? Go! So it's like Mischief Makers. Yeah, kinda. The 
Victor in round two is the one and only Lone Robot Rider, Red. Did you see that? Easy victory. <laughs> All thanks to my advice. Red, you are most impressive. There's no shaking, but there is grabbing and throwing, so it is kind of like Mischief Makers in that regard. This game's like a weird cross between Mischief Makers and, uh, Mega Man Legends. Hell, even the robot that Red drives has, like, the Mega Man Legends, like, eyeball on the back of it that you see on the robots. There's no shaking, but there's grabbing and throwing, and you do combo it by throwing it into other people, so it is kind of like that in some regard. And there's robots. Well done, Red. An excellent victory. All thanks to the advice from me. Final round is about to start. Here it comes, the final battle. Only one match remains. Victory is within your grasp. There is nothing to worry about, Princess. I will be advising him all the way to victory. See you after the fight. Tail Concerto was like Mega Man Legends. Yes, that's true. That was also... That's, that's pretty much where this came from. I can't believe I, I just remembered that Net Tail Concerto was also like that, and they were both on the same platform. The final battle. I must admit, I'm becoming quite excited. Lose and I shall punish you. I'm expecting big things from you. <laughs> Take part in the final round. Yeah, I'm all fired up. I never thought he'd last this long. He could be the next big thing. I made it this far. I could feel the excitement flowing in my veins. It hurts. Your opponent is powerful, but you are one in a million, Master of Disaster. I look forward to your victory. No problem. I'm going out there to win. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have kept you waiting long enough. Here it comes, the final round of the Rookie Tournament. Here are the bold pair who have reached this climactic battle. His hands roar for victory. Ah, uh, that is a G Gundam reference right there. A shining shout to defeat his opponent. The wandering robot rider, Red! You'll never defeat my super combos. They take whatever they want, whatever they want. That's the Sky Pirate way. Now witness their greatest champion, captor of the Clapper Sky Pirates attack squad. <laughs> Come at me, boy! Get out of here, pirate. You thief, you pirate thief. You there. You seriously plan fighting me in that thing? Look at this body. Any frontal attack will just bounce right off. Come at me, bro. Sounds like a challenge. I'm gonna throw you to the dirt. You'll see. That's right. Get him, Red. 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 Beat the stuffing out of that pirate. We'd expect no less from the final round. The tension is mounting. Grab an enemy from behind. The lift gauge will be more easy to fill up. Oh, right. You could slam into them to stun them a bit. can't grab him? What are you playing at? Got another problem? If you can't attack from the front, circle around behind. Use your head. I know that much. Just shut up and watch. We have our winner! Our newly crowned Rookie King is none other than the one and only Lone Robot Rider, Red! Oh yeah, sweet victory! Chocolat, did you see that? Yeah, Red, congrats. No, I was busy going to the bathroom. Yeah! Three claps. Three claps for Red. Oh, Red, how wonderful! 
I knew I was right about him. I won. Sir Red. Hello again, princess. Please call me Theria. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you for your support, Theria. You may have won, but I only see room for improvement. That's why. I have decided to take you back with us to our kingdom and train you as one of my men. Now that it's, that's been decided, you should get your things together. Huh? You, get to de you don't get to decide things like that for me. Fred, I shall continue to support you. You will? Uh, thanks. Cyan, we are leaving. Take care of yourself, Red. P please, your majesty, wait a moment. Princess! Red, my apprentice, I'm not giving up on you. Even princesses have it tough, huh? Quite a bodyguard she has there. May I have a moment with you, Red? Sure, what's up? Signs a talent scout now, yeah. He just wants to show off, show up waffle by having an army under him. I just wanted to congratulate you on your victory. I was deeply moved. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Lady Luck has shined down on me again this, to discover a fighter of this caliber. Something you want to say? No, nothing of importance. I will show you back to Airedale. Phew. Finally back in Airedale. Impressive, Red. That fight will go down in history. Here's your fight money. Well done. Even though it was your debut battle, the audience loved you. I would love to have you on more and more of my duels. Really? That's right. What do you think? I think you could become the next great champion. Really? That's just what I was thinking too. Okay, let's do this thing. Excellent, Red. I knew things would work out between us as soon as I saw you. Call it fate. I must get going. See me at the duel ship for more fights. You can visit the duel ship from the next destination, Asmodeus. Talk to Quentin on the deck and you can select a duel to fight. The number of duels you can fight in will increase as you clear them and as the story progresses. The name of the quest you can repeatedly undertake are marked in white. Once you've cleared such a quest, its name will change to green and it will remain on the list. You can now do rank 2 quests. Yeah, apologies for the audio crust. That's gonna kinda happen. It's a side effect of pushing the uh, Melon DS to the to the limit with the upscaler. Which, by the way, if you just joined, let me show you what this game actually looks like on a DS. Yeah, not nearly as nice looking. It's I mean, it's good. If you're playing this on a DS, that looks pretty nice from, like, a small screen. But on, on the computer, you want something much nicer. And I'm doing this at three times uh, native resolution. It turns out DS game. This is this HD resolution. Yeah, it, this is HD. This is three times uh, native uh, DS resolution. A lot. Something a lot of people don't realize is that the DS cartridges they're 3D. HD Desmoon Moon for Windows has that option. I tried using that. It just Desmoon Moon doesn't work as well. Desmoon Moon cannot run Golden Sun Dark Dawn, which is kind of a deal breaker for me because I want to stream that game soon. Yeah, because. The 3D effect, the 3D models in DS games are actually stored at a much higher fidelity than you see on the DS. Uh, so, being able to up... Which emulator is this? It's Melon DS. M-E-L-O-N-D-S. Um, if you download it, you need 7-Zip to unzip it. It doesn't unlock with uh, WinRAR, which is also a free program, so... You know, no harm there. Uh, this runs better than Death Moon, in my opinion. I lost what I was going to say now. Yeah, cause it's like that with Pokemon, too. On the 3DS, the Pokemon models are actually stored at, like, 1080p. And apparently they're just downscaled to 24... To, they're downscaled to 240p on the actual system. Here are the quests you could take at the moment. Uh, oh, I got the, the level 2 quest. So you need that. You needed uh, those quests cleared regardless. I need someone to tidy up the mess of my warehouse. I'm in the residential area in the East Ward. Huh? 
coming along, are you? You know, you may have brushed it aside in the ship back there, but I really think you should give the medallion back to me. That ain't gonna fly. You never heard of finders keepers. But anyway, I don't even know if this thing really belongs to you. Well, if that's the way it's going to be, then I'm just going to have to stick around for a while. Is this game really $500 good? Thank you for the follow, uh, and welcome to the stream. That is a very big no, I would have to say. I would have to say for... for if you're going to spend that much on Solado Robo, you're better off just getting a really good computer, with, with saving up for a good computer and just emulating it. I know that's kind of a shitty thing to say about games and piracy, but, uh... Yeah, I would not pay $500 for this game. Then again, yeah, uh, Tornev Tornevis has a point. Uh, if you could get the cartridge itself for cheap, or get like a D like an R4 card or something, then yes, definitely pay a little extra for it. Uh, but I, I would not pay $500 for like a sealed copy. My copy that I got was like 80 and I felt like that was too much. I did get my money's worth out of it. Again, not condoning piracy, but, you know, if a game's $500, then I'm not going to, uh tell you to do anything specific. Speaking of expensive games, I really need to get back to Ring Fit Adventure. I really want to play that again. I need to determine if you are suitable and worthy of that medallion. <laughs> do whatever you want. What's with this guy? My, my mindset is that you should never be paying $500 for a single game. You're a video game collector, and if I'm such a big hitter game, I'd rather have it complete. I mean, the reason it's expensive is because it's rare, not because it's white critically acclaimed. Though I will say this game is very good. What about 320? I would still say no. Here's the thing, you're paying more than a modern gen console for that. You're paying more than a Switch for the game. Um, that's what you could get it for. I would say it's up to you. If you feel that a single DS game is worth $320 to add it to your collection, go for it. I would feel that that's too expensive for me. Alright, where am I going? I completely forgot. Uh, use check quest from your, from your menu. Okay. Damn it. East Ward. Alright. I'm going to be making this mistake a lot. Uh, I do not have enough key crystals. Put crystal. How's this game hold up to this day? Like, what are you playing it on? Um, well, I mean, I'm emulating it. Uh, I'm emulating it on a high-quality emulator, so the game looks better than it does on the DS. Uh, it's a DS game. And it can be played on the DS and the 3DS. It is not released on Virtual Console. You cannot get it through the Wii U. I would say if you want to play it, just get the cartridge. Don't collect the whole case unless you really, really want it. I mean, look, I, I don't want to talk specifics, but I, I've spent... I've spent that much on, on a piece of art, so I can't really judge someone for buying a single video game for that much. Uh, but, you know, to each their own. It reminds me of Disgaea. When Disgaea, when I, when my friends got into Disgaea, uh, for the PlayStation 2, I bought a copy for like $80, $90, and then two months later they redistributed it for the, for like 40 because Disgaea 2 just came out, and I was pissed. I paid double for it, and then I, they started selling it for normal price. Mm. Are you here to tidy up the warehouse? Hello. That's right. There are three containers in there. Each one needs to be placed on one of the plates in the floor. No problem. I'll be finished before you can blink. I, Man, I gotta look at that. My copy's open. But I have the full copy of Solado Robo, the English version, with the soundtrack CD. I bought it for 80 bucks in 2015, five years after it came out. I need to put those containers 
Consider it more of an investment you can enjoy. I mean, if that's what you, if if that's your passion, then totally go for it. Lots of those plates over there. I won't be able to reach the ones up there by jumping, though. Find something you could use to step up on, then. You can use containers as a step to jump to go up on them. Try it when you find hard to reach higher places. I want to see something. Hold on. If I leave that, will it stay? No, it goes down. Alright, hold on. Oh yeah, the glitch only shows up if you change it to OpenGL. Okay. There's also improved polygon splitting. I don't know what that does. It does not look like anything. Glitch is still there. Nope, doesn't do anything. There's also Tail Concerto on the PS1. Yeah, this is a sequel to Tail Concerto. Uh, I've, I've never owned that. I only, I've only ever emulated it. I actually streamed that earlier this year. Again, I'm, I'm not gonna say don't don't spend on your passion. If you have the money, you want to spend it, and it's and you know you can go right ahead. I highly recommend like you know pursuing your passion if that's what you're into. I've spent tons of money on voice acting, and I'm still not good at it. So it just shows you how much more I got to spend on it. Finished. Now I just need to let the client know. All finished. That was quick. I actually didn't blink yet. Well done. Here's your payment. 400 Ringos. Getting this for Christmas. That's the best way you could justify it. Hey. Pretty solid Christmas gift. I got a new 2DS XL last Christmas for my brother. That thing is amazing. Let me tell you, as someone who had a, a 3DS and a, two, a 3DS XL, going from that to the new 2DS XL is like such a huge upgrade. The system feels nice and light. It's got hot, faster load times. It's stylish. It's really cool. Great. Catch you later. Welcome back. Oh, and this time you haven't returned empty-handed. Oh my, look. I'm not that cool. <laughs> I wish I had the chat widget open for that so people would see that someone called me cool. <laughs> Took you three years to even get slightly decent and I can't afford any equipment. That sucks. You're all but you're you're young though. You can you've got a lot of time. I kinda had to bum rush a lot of my progress, uh since I didn't pursue it until I was thirty. <laughs> Twenty nine. <clears throat> Sean's two years younger than me. Or a year younger than me. I can't remember. I'm actually the same age as one of our colleagues. Like, we're the exact same age, almost. What's up, Red? Chocolate? Ugh. Why'd I say Red? What time is it? 1.52? Yeah, I'm not too surprised. What's up, Chocolat? What? What the? So they've come. I mean, also, I'm trying to... I'm I'm judging myself based on how I'm doing an impromptu... Well, not impromptu, but how I'm doing every character in a game. So, of course, there's not going to be a whole lot of variety. Furballs! Not these guys again! Red, are you okay? You somehow survived everything getting destroyed around you. I'm fine, but the town definitely isn't. How terrible. I'm gonna make these guys pay. Chocolat, help me out. No, please, wait. Let's escape for now. No way. You're telling me to just abandon the town? That's not what I mean. I gotta get going. No, wait. Looks like you get it first, buddy. Don't be shy, I'll keep you company. Do 
Thompson machinery can use machinery and kick butt. Hell yeah. Yeah. Again, this game is very unique, and it's made by the company that makes the dot hack games. So it's got a lot of style and flair to it. I would put this up there in the very good artsy DS games, along with um, The World Ends With You, and uh, what other DS game was, like, really good that, like, was kind of weird. There was one that came out at launch that I never played. Rhythm Heaven is a really good game, too. Oh, I completely missed that dialogue. Oops. Not quite, I'm afraid. They are called Shades, weapon created by Lairs, or Larray. Larray, I guess? Larray? No, there's no I in it. Lairs. Wow, my bitrate is going all over the fucking place. Hold on a second. Okay, no, it's not. It's fine. The giant monster you saw while in the Hindenburg, that is... Tell me about it later. Right now, I'm trying to get rid of these guys. In that case, you need to find the Shade Leader. Defeat the Leader giving orders to the other Shades, or... So basically, just take out their boss. Got it. Let's go. And Junk. Be gone. This game is very dynamic in how the enemies show up, too, because they don't just- they're not just there at the beginning. Some of them will fly in from, like, the sides. Yeah, most people want this as their- in their sacred collection piece. Really? Take that! Am I awesome or what? Please refrain from bragging and move on. It's not over yet. I don't think I like your tone, brat. My name is L, not brat. Fine, L. Just stop giving me orders. Why should I listen to anything you have to say? This is neither the time nor place for such a discussing. Discussing? We are discussing here. Mamma mia, we are discussing. Ugh, I hate it because L's right. Hey. Huh? I remember how this was like the high quality district that I wasn't allowed in, and now it's all destroyed. Very, very shades of Sector 7. Time for you to pass out your stream tomorrow. Uh, yes, currently I'm going to be trying to kick up my streams for the rest of the year. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to stream like three, four times a week, and I think this week it'll be like today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll be doing this the entire time. But thanks for stopping by, and thanks for following. I appreciate it. Looking forward to uh, seeing you back, if you so decide to. Look out, I'm getting a really powerful reading from... Right in front of me. Yeah. <gasps> so this is the boss. I think so, and I think it's looking at you. It's not the one that I immediately think of when I think of this game. <laughs> A walk in the park. 
red. The others are starting to run away. That means it was the boss then. Nice. Did you see that, L? See how strong I am? Gloating because the immediate enemy is gone. You are a child. What did you just say? Take a good look around. All this was preventable damage. If only you had left when I said to. Huh? It's not my fault the town got attacked, okay, chump? It's used a lot less than the main one, but I still love it. I love all the music in this game. It's just so well done. Actually, it is your fault. What? This is all your fault. Hey, what did I do? Those shades came here because they were after you. Uh, what? What's that supposed to mean? The medallion you activated. That's what they want. So that's why they attacked the Hindenburg too? To get this? If you like the soundtrack to this game, I definitely looking up, I recommend looking up the .hack GU soundtrack. Uh, because it's I think it's the same composer. The medallion chose him. There's no turning back now. Excuse me, but your name is... Red. Red Saverin. Severin. Is it Saverin or Severin? I don't know. Well then, Red Severin. Everyone's gonna say it differently. I have a request to make of you. A request to you, to a hunter. Will you take care of that medallion? What? Let me say this another way. Go ahead. Would you like to make a contract? I w oh, see, I was right. I want to make a contract with you. Huh? I'll pay you a great fortune. You have everything to gain. Will you honor my request? This feels so weird. That that feels like so out of character right there compared to how she was so the rest of this chapter. Oops. Contract for a billion rings? One whole billion! <laughs> Will you stop laughing like that? It's freaking me out! One billion sure is a lot, but still... A great fortune worth more than one billion rings. R Red, did he say one billion? As in, one whole billion? Y yeah that's a lot of zeros. And what are the details of this contract? All you have to do is help me seal Lares away. Lares, Lares... I, I gotta say Lares. Lares. There we go. I need the medallion to do this, and you, because you activated it. What if I say no? Then eventually Lares will destroy the world as we know it. Yeah, flashbacks to five seconds ago. Please meet me at the cafe in Spinon tomorrow. I have some business to tend to in the area. How'd you get there? Take me to the cafe in Spinone, and I will and I'll take you and I'll talk to you there. Something really big's happening here, but something bugs me. Hey, are you listening? We're going to Spinone, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess we are. It'll be fine, just fine. You worry too much. If we get into a jam, I know you could get us out of it. That's how it's always been, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay then, to spin on. Bow. I don't think I have enough crystals to do anything. Yes, yeah, spin on. I, I love that area. It's so good. Pretty nice looking. Library, I believe, is important, because that gives you some backstory and lore. Guess I'll take some care of some quests until he shows up. Destinations marked with new quests have new quests available. The number of quests and quest points for that location are shown to the bottom right of the touchscreen. Oh, it shows what rank they are, I think? Or maybe not, I don't know. 
I am gonna do everything this playthrough. Container arrangement, pest extermination, collecting tunes. Ugh, I've run out of sounds. I need someone to collect more for me. I'm on the second floor of the China store, Iggy. Iggy, get out of there! It's chopped in half. Alright, that's the OAV. That's OAV part three. That ain't, uh, that ain't David Pro part three. Are you Iggy? I've come about your job involving sounds or something. Me? I did indeed post that job, which means first I need to ask you, have you ever felt waves, man? Waves? I see. That's cool, man. Don't worry about it. You see, I got a problem. I don't have enough tunes. I need more sounds to make sweet tunes, man. At the moment, I can't even render the little finger of my sweet, sweet honey babe into music. Sounds, uh huh. What I need for you, man, is to get the. Uh, what I need from you, man, is to use this recording device to gather two tunes for me. And um, where am I? Where do I get these tunes from? I need the tune of the horn weed that grows in View Park, and the tune of the phonograph inside the house with the blue roof. Both places are to the east of this house. I'm counting on you, man. Even the side characters and NPCs have good designs. Yeah, there's like no repeat. Well, there are repeats, but like all of the villagers and people that live in the towns all look different, and it's really nice. Again, I get a very World Ends with You vibe from this game, just from how it's um how it's arranged. I can hear a tune. Is that it? Ah, yes. This game is very fun. Also, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I need that plant. I need that. Bleh. Time for some more water. What time is it? 2.06? Go for another hour and 15 tonight. I need to search that plant, which means I need to get off my robot. Great. Sounds like a tune. One more to go. Good. I was playing this on the DS after finding it in a garage sale. Had to sell it a while back, but so many fond memories. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. This is such a good game. I would never want to sell my copy. Even though I'm not playing my copy, I'm playing an emulated version. Also, enjoy Melon DS's uh, three times upscaling. So, very little pixelating going on and very, very smooth uh, robots. Hold on. I can hear music. It's coming from over there? It's coming from over there! Don't mind if I just record your private music, right? The tune of success! That's both tunes! Guess I'll head back to Iggy. Have a nice day! Yeet! Here you go. I've collected your tunes. Cool, man. Cool. Let me take a listen. Wow, these are totally cool waves, man. He's vibing. Finished. Woohoo! This is a masterpiece. I think this track just might be too cool, man. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, man. Here's the reward. Orchard rings. Well, thanks. Everyone ever tell you that you are, um, unique? Me? Never, man, but uh, I just get a bit excited when those waves start rolling in. I'm getting good vibes from you, though. You collected all these gnarly tunes, after all. Speaking of good vibes, uh, did you, if anyone's watches, uh, 
Game Explains videos. A bunch of people that used to work for them just launched a new channel today about uh, Good Vibe to Gaming. And they review games in like a slightly different way than Game Explain. It's pretty nice. I'm thinking, you might have a hidden talent there, man. I have to say, hammering out some music does look like fun. Awesome. Then why don't I teach you how to make some sweet, sweet music? Tunes to create music can be gathered from the hornweed and phonographs around the world. Music can be created and listened to from the audio in Asmodeus' cabin. If you talk to Iggy after making a lot of music, he may have something for you. That's how it works. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, actually, I'll give it a try. Once you've made some music, come back and see me again. I want to hear your waves, man. Sure, no problem. Alright, I can just fool, feel the cool waves coming from your soul, man. Well, waves? Something wrong? Looking forward to hearing your work, man. But making music doesn't turn me into someone like him. I that gives you five quest points. Alright, well, now we got another collectible we can get. The phonographs and the, uh... And the weeds. There's another phonograph somewhere in here. Crazy, right? There was another photograph somewhere. Oh, maybe it was in here. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I was thinking of this one. Whoops. arrangement. My robot is broken down, so I need someone to clear up the containers scattered by the loading dock. Please come to the east ward. Sweet little thing, you don't work so very hard, are you? So very hard. Y yeah Woo, lovely, darling. It really is a very simple little job. Do you see those four containers scattered around the loading dock? Camera angles. Please carry each one of those to the four plates on the right side. Alright, let me get started. Oh, so eager, so very eager. I love it. Off you go. I've turned on the lift, so feel free to use them, sweetie. Oh, man. You aren't finished yet, dumpling. convenient that someone with a robot just happens to- wow, I love how I jumped right off there. Someone with a robot just happens to, uh, take this quest. Oh, right, you could shoot the boxes to move them slightly.
The fact that you could dash while holding stuff is very, very nice. Finished! Now I just need to let that bizarre client know. All done! Oh, you kept me waiting, you little scamp! Here's your reward for working so very hard. Thanks, dude. My name is Omen, you little tease. Oh, you little tease. You're so fresh. Fresh to death. I used the phrase fresh to death around my friends once, and they thought it was the funniest shit ever, and I'm just like, you've never heard that phrase before? Ever? Pest extermination. I've got a problem with an insect infestation in the warehouse. Can someone help me get rid of them? I'm in the residential area in the East Ward. Alright, back to the right. Oh, you're here to work, are you? That's right. So what do you need? The warehouse you see has been infested. I need the insects wiped out. Sounds easy enough. I'll get to work. I'll be waiting here. Let me know as soon as you finish. Oh my. I don't see no pests. Um, not seeing a whole lot of bugs in here. They're probably hiding. Nice money bugs. I think that's all of them? Not yet. The fur on the nape of my neck is still prickling. Royal wing. Wow. Could you even make that out on the DS? What it says on that sign? Eh, a bit. I was gonna say, that looks like it would be very hard to render that properly. Still a big one left. Let's get it. This is the uh, battle theme I'm most familiar with when I think of this game. Bugs can uh, explode, apparently. Big ant leg obtained. That's all of them! Yeah, you think the merchant will take that leg as proof of having finished the job? I mean, we could just tell him they're gone. He could check. Nope. Or are the insects all gone? That's right, here you go! Ugh, disgusting! It's still twitching! Anyway, good work. Here's your payment. This game's running very smoothly. Very happy about that. I'm still surprised that this game runs well, but then Golden Sun Dark Dawn, like, chugs on any emulator I try it on. That's gonna be the next DS game I play, and that's gonna be in, uh, December, after Hyrule Warriors and, uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Actually, I'll probably be ending doing those at the same time. Oh, that's right, you collect points, and then you can make the music. So searching those things just gives you currency to make music. Mm. 
Ah, my neck. I think dual ship. Dual ship is a separate ranking than the hunter rank. Here are the duels that you could fight in at the moment. Yeah, oh no, it doesn't have a separate rank. It just doesn't give you points. Warrior strength. One will fight many in this exhibition match. The crowd loves to see a bold hunter fighting the odds. Alright, time to kick some butt. Good luck out there. Give us a good fight, okay? top of it. Oh. Put me in, coach! Ah. We're gonna beat you black and blue. Too easy. Ha! Ah, how annoying! You'll be blue and black next time. Some of the later stuff has like these weird, uh, like limitations where you have to, uh, like not get hit or jump over stuff, not use a, a certain lifting thing or whatever. Boss says this is for our own good, but I'm almost too scared to move. Are these guys really sky pirates. Ow. There's no way I'll ever lose against goons like you. I knew we'd lose. Boss is gonna kill us. Brothers, Haulage Brothers. Oh, Haulage, like cargo. You're faced with our combined powers. You may as well just tap out right now. Struggle. Just pick yourself up and keep trying. Yeah. 
<laughs> Didn't even break a sweat. We were invincible back home. The world sure is big, huh? Here's your fight bunny. Take it with my compliments. Gotta do more of the game to unlock more. Alright, gotta go to Spinone. Which is right there. You can see the map on the top screen. Dual ships is not on there. Did I hit B? Yes, I did. I'm so used to playing Legend of Mana, where I had it mapped so that the bottom button on the controller would be confirm, that I'm not used to hitting the A button, like the Nintendo controller is actually programmed to be. Chapter 2, Raid of the Curvaz, or Curva. I guess Curvaz is the better way to pronounce it. This area has great music and, mu and uh, graphics. Isn't that the Kervaz flagship, the Golden Roar? What's the Kervaz Admiral and the warship doing here? Please don't tell me they're looking for us. What, to get even about what happened on the Hindenburg? We're not that important. Anyway, let's keep a close eye on them. Wow. What? That's Bruno. Bruno. The president who created the Kervaz. The Guildmaster. The Guildmaster? Oh no. That old guy is Bruno? Which means all this fuss is about his visit. Nothing to do with us then. Let's head into the city. That mysterious girl looked at me. I like seeing all the flying things that come and stop here. Below the shrine lies the totem of Spinon. The cutscene looks super nice for the DS. Yes, I mean, I am upscaling it, but those cutscenes are all done in, like, very, like, specialized multi-layered sprites. It, the way I put it is, think of how Gen 5 Pokemon looks with how, like, all the Pokemon have different animations and, like, proportions for each part of them. That's kind of what they're doing here, except on a much larger scale that takes up the whole screen. Below the shrine lies the Totem of Spinone. No unauthorized access. Scram! Huh? Hey, you. Have I seen you somewhere before? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm on duty and I can't be messing around today. Fat man. Listen here, fat man. We're on watch. Don't go causing any trouble. Not in front of Master Bruno. Also, I love how they refer to Master Bruno as an old man, but the instruction manual clarifies he's only 40 years old. That's, that's seven years older than I am. Oh, I see you there, buddy. Give me that photo. The wind feels good, don't you agree? Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. You know, it's still too early for our meeting with L. Well, there's a quest broker here. May as well kill some time. Mayor's house, Spinone. Hmm. And what, may I ask, brings the Curvaz to my humble town? Fabian? Very well. I'll get right to the point. Oh, she's my favorite character. Mervel. I'd like you to lend us your crystal stone key. I see. Unfortunately, I've never heard of such an item. Mm hmm. 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 Indeed, you have the ability to lie with a straight face. <laughs> That's enough, Mervel. We've only come to say hello today. Perhaps you'll suddenly remember what it is before we come back. If not, you'll put us all in a very difficult situation. <laughs> Your pardon, then. Uh. 
Those bad guys are after Grandpa's key. Look how badly formatted that name is. They, they had to, like, squish it so small for the DS. I gotta do something. Amelie, dear, do you need anything right now? I'm quite busy. <laughs> no, I, I'm fine, Grandpa. Now, why would the Kervaz want the crystal stone key? And what will happen to the town if I don't hand it over? Huh? That's odd. The key? It's gone! Who could have taken it? No! Amelie? Amelie. 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 No! Amelie? Welcome to Spinone, the town of flowing water. Where does it come from if it's falling into oblivion? It is locked tight. Head down the end of the street and you can look over the entire town. That beautiful view is the pride of Spinone. Look at this. Star Dogs Cafe. Nice parody. Look how beautiful. I would love to fucking go here and just eat. <laughs> the pie in this cafe is the best. I love listening to the radio with the murmuring trickles of water from the canal. Tell you the truth, guarding this water gate is a pretty easy job. I got nothing to do. Nothing to do. So bored. Ugh. Your music points. Key crystals. Oh, I can unlock a square now. left. I should actually probably get some more. At the same time, this game's not that hard. Square time. It is now time for square. The view from here is great, isn't it? This is my favorite spot in the whole world. lost treasure. Please help me find a lost item. Please. From Frito. Ooh, I love Fritos. Hold on. Five rings? I just noticed how low the reward is. Thank you so much for taking on this job. No, actually, I think I've made a mistake. Please don't change your mind. The job was posted by a boy. Well, it's not my style to back out on anything. The client is waiting behind the cafe. In the cafe behind here. Excuse me. His name is Frito. His brother's name is Lays. Ah, that cafe is the same place we're supposed to meet L. Well then, good luck. He looks like a Frito Lay chip. Huh. Hey, kid, are you Frito? Yeah, that's right. And you are. A hunter? Yeah, call me Red. So what have you lost? Yeah, o okay, a key. It isn't mine, though. So whose key is it? A friend of mine called Amelie. It was taken from her. Taken? By who? A uh, sc scatter mouse. They live in the sewers. This is all getting a bit complicated. We need to start by finding a way into the sewers. Red, you are already here. Frito is adorable. And you took your time. Where have you been? I was looking into why the Kervaz are here. 
They're the ones who obtained the medallion and were transporting it in that ship. You mean the Hindenburg? That was a Kervaz ship? You knew that! Yes, and they are planning something here, too. If possible, I would like your help. Have you made a decision about the contract I proposed? Have you? The contract, sure. Uh, leave it to me. Thank you, so let's move on to the Kervaz right away. Hold on, I got something I need to do first. What? We don't have any time to lose, you know. The Kervaz are looking for a key. We have to find it first. And I have a key to find, too. A key? Kid, you said that key belonged to Emily. Who is this Emily, then? Emily's grandfather is very important. He's the mayor of Spinone. Maybe we are after the same thing. Let's look for this key. There's a possible entrance in the sewers in the port near the Asmodeus. Let's go back to the port. Yeah! Let's go and search the sewers. I'm feeling it now. I'm, I'm starting to lose the, uh, the energy. What's it like down there? Red? I think we could go inside, but it looks deep. You guys better stay here. Very well. I'll see you back at the cafe. Get that key back, Red. It's open. Chocolat, I'm counting on your navigation. Old viaduct, Spinon. Access interdit. So that means no entry. Water, huh? My robot can't swim. Is this a dead end? No, wait. If I turn that valve and drain the water, I should be able to carry on. Guess I should swim over there. Red can swim when he's not riding his robot. Use the control pad to move and press the B button to jump. You cannot swim completely under the water. up here. Oh, okay. You can blow wood boxes open. That's good. Good to know. you mouse brain. Are you the one with the key? Do you really think you'll find it so quickly with your luck? I don't know what I just grabbed there, but I grabbed something. That was entirely unintentional. Nice thing too is you don't have to wonder where rooms go because you could see the map clearly. So I know that this is a dead end over here. anniversary already oh my god yes uh two weeks ago almost october 28th 2010 also welcome to the stream Crystals. 
Oh, okay, A makes you swim faster. I like it because they introduce a lot of mechanics for the on-foot part, but at the same time, they don't they overly rely on it. They keep it simple. Is that enough for another part already? Like a square? Nope, I need one more. I believe on my second, on my new game plus plus file, I have like plus 50 in all three stats. And a room for at least one or two revive pieces. Red. Right in front of you. Ah, the mouse to end all mice. It looks like he's the one. Cough up the key, rat face. Hydraulics are probably the most important thing to raise because at that point you're just able to lift an enemy like constantly. Crystal stone key obtained. Excellent! The key is mine! Take it to the exit to your right and you'll come out in front of the quest broker. Frito and the others are waiting for you in the cafe. Go and give them the good news. Hey, we're back with the key. Really? That's it. That's the key. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Aren't you forgetting something, Missy? No, I'm not. Gimme the key. Frito here put up his own money to help me find or for me to find this, okay? Oh. Thank you, Frito. Uh, yeah, no, no problem. Well said, Missy. Here you go. Take it. Thank you, Red. Five rings. I'm glad things worked out, but doesn't that key belong to your grandfather? You'd better give it back to him. I just realized the use of shadow on the character sprites are really good. Like, they just have, like, the blacked out parts on, the, on their sides. What? Grandfather is very busy right now. Don't worry, we'll go with you. Rank three. <clears throat> oh, who are you? There. Hunters, Grandpa. Amelie. Amelie. I don't know how- I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Here you are, Grandpa. I suspected that you were the one who took it. I'm really very sorry. Amelie only wanted to protect the key from the Kervaz. But then a scatter mouse grabbed it. And these nice people got it back for me. I see. The Kravaz want to use that key for something terrible. Please, you cannot let them have it. But who knows what they'll do to Spinone if I don't give it to them. I have an idea. Simply tell them that we stole it. What? Grandpa, these are nice people. Nicer than those Kravaz people. If Amelie trusts you, then I shall trust you too. Please, take the key. But wouldn't doing so mean they'll start coming after you? Please do not worry about that. We'll be fine, won't we, Red? Y yeah. Sapristi. Just what's this key for, then? My grandpa said it opens a shrine in the waterways beneath the city. A shrine that might be worth checking out. 
Where's the entrance to these waterways, then? It's underwater. You can't go in unless you open the water gate. So where do we have to go to open the water gate? Just take a gondola from north of the cafe. Here's the gondola. You gotta get off the dahak in order to get in the gondola. That's the water gate garden there, Mr. Red. Hey, you've got a friendly face, my face. Friendly red, red, red. Hey, you've got a friendly face there, my friend. Oh, and what might you be wanting? Just wondering if you could open up that water gate for us. Why might I do that? I dropped my dead mother's pendant to the waterway. <laughs> now that's some bad acting. That's the stream in a nutshell. Please, I'm begging you, sir. Open the water gate for me. Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> I can't very well say no to that now, can I? Just wait right here. Canal. The canal entrance. Ooh, audio is getting a little crusty. Here we go. Water shouldn't be much of a problem now. Thank you so much, mister. You're so kind. Let's get going, Red. And back to normal, just like that. The entrance is to the right of the street. The entrance is to the right of the street with the quest broker. Let's head there right away. Yeah. Scary, but kind of impressive. Did you find your pendant? <laughs> the entrance to the underground waterways is that way. Whoosh. Great, thanks. Here's the entrance to the underground waterways. This is where we say goodbye then, Emily. You better come play with me again. Good luck, Mr. Red. See you, kids! Let's rumble! Wait. Oh, there was, it looked like there was another room. Water. I'll have to leave the dahak here. Watch out for the fishies in the water. Frame rate is dropping a little bit. That's why it's getting a little crustier. It's quiet, but there's something here. I can feel it. <laughs> a 
cistern block. There's a valve over there. Hopefully it'll drain the water. Repeatedly press the A button while swimming to swim faster. Okay. Yeah, tell me at some point, I guess. Drain the water. I better get back to my robot. Look, the water was covering those entrances. Let's try going through them to get to the shrine. Looks like this will take us where we want to go. Oh, wait, wait, we don't want to go there. We want to go back the other way. Oh, nice, a pea crystal. life right there and there's no danger in this room. Cats gang, you are incorrigible. Wait, is that enough for another square already? I think it is. Yep. Is it 2.53? So I normally stop in about 7 minutes, but since I started a bit late, I'm going to keep going for a little while longer. I believe this is where I fight my first, uh, oh no, not yet. Ha! Kervaz! So state your name and business! Uh, this is a stick-up. Let us through and no one will get hurt.
Nurse, I'm coming back again. Sorry about that, pal. Just sit the rest of this one out, okay? Red, looks like that's our target. What? Indeed it does. The Kervaz have cleared out a welcoming party. <laughs> Red furry man. Isn't he a streamer? Oh no, I'm thinking of gay purple man. Um. <laughs> hey, who are you guys? What are you doing down here? I was going to ask you the same thing. You Kervaz hunter, you. I'd prefer it if you called me Kalua, dude. Kalua. Like the like the alcohol. Don't tell me you're down here looking for the crystal stone, too. Red furry man. <laughs> what a subtitle. Crystal stone. So that's what Kervaz wants, is it? Dude, did I just say something I shouldn't have? Is this idiot for real? But anyway, we don't have the key, so we aren't getting anywhere. You mean this key? Yeah, that one. Dude! Red, you're the idiot now. You didn't have to show him that. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd be really happy if you left the key there for me, dude. Dream on. Get out of my way. I'm coming through. I believe his robot's called the Over Mephisto. While there's another one that just has the regular Mephisto. Football. I just get them against the wall and they're pretty easy. How's that taste, huh? Yikes, maybe I underestimated you, dude. You're going to tell us all about the Kervaz's plans. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I gotta bounce. Like, now, dude. Red Furry Man is armed to the teeth. Yes, he is. That's gonna be his name. His official name is Red Furry Man. Hey, get back here. That guy sure can move. We may as well let him run. Let's use the key to get to the crystal stone, shall we? Just put it in here? Huh? So someone couldn't just walk behind the waterfall with like something that resists the water pressure to grab it? One crystal stone coming right up. Ah! I expected as much. Oh fuck, she has, he has the Millennium uh, Tattoo. It's time to duel. The source of my powers, no, no, is reacting to the stone. Meaning this definitely has something to do with Lorez. Okay, now let's split before the crevasse comes back. Chocolat, can we get out of here? Everything's ready. Are you okay, Al? I'm fine, but please, let's leave before the other Kervaz spot us. 
And we're off. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> the crystal stone was taken. And just why would you return without it? Well, uh... They were funny, dude, so maybe I toyed with them too much. Blue, uh, There's Blue Furry Man. This isn't the time for jokes, Kalua. Get serious and tell us straight. Who was it that took it? It was a smallish red robot. The hunter dude's name was... Red. Yeah, I think his little Philaneca buddy said, his, said Red. I know who he is talking about. Is that so? Then I'll leave the rest to you. I'll be resting in my chambers. Very well, Guildmaster. Gren, can you track them down? We special ops shall recover the missing item. Fear not. Good. Give my regards to the director, Lady Opera, for me. Understood. We shall depart at once. Later, dudes. Well, well. Red and Dahak. Accompanied by a paladin of all beings. Hmm. Coincidence? Unlikely. <laughs> well. So now we got this first crystal stone. What do we do next? Can't we just seal this Lorez thing away and be done with it? The sealing ceremony is the right is excuse me. Ugh. The sealing ceremony is called the rite of forfeit. But I cannot do it right now. The door to the sacred lands is where it can be performed is well hidden. Its location changes each time after each use and it appears only when the time is right. Well then, I'll just go run some quests until this door shows up. I'd like to get Asmodeus tuned up in the meantime as well. Which means a visit to Diamundo in the Darvrin Davrin Island. I almost said Dwarven. In Davrin Islands. I don't think I'll be doing the Davrin Islands tonight. Uh, I've got 20 minutes left, so I'll do the quests first. I believe this just goes into the uh, dungeon now. I don't know if there's anything hidden down here. Well, there's enemies that haven't fought yet. Can't actually go over there. <laughs> this room, however, was, you know, you wouldn't know to go back here. Star Dogs Cafe. Dual tournament photo. That's real steam. Oh wait, I still had quests to do. the quest you can take at the moment. Pamphlet delivery and waterway wipeout. Let's do pamphlet delivery. I'm running a disaster prevention campaign. I need help giving out pamphlets. I'm waiting on the bridge. Mamoru. I never really gave much thought to disaster prevention. Please go talk to Mamoru on the bridge for more details.
Are you the one who wants to help? Uh, excuse me. Are you the one who wants help? Sorry. I had to uh, turn my head away from the mic for a second. Are you the one who wants some help giving out pamphlets? Yes, great to meet you. I'm Amoru. I'm here from the country of Nippon to prevent crime and disasters. Wow, you've come a long way. Pretty cool. I think this character is actually like a Japanese mascot in like real life. And they put him in this game as like a crossover. That's why he says he's from Nippon. Because he's actually from Japan. Thank you. Here's the pamphlet. Full of useful information. Take a look. Prevention pamphlet received. Please give nine of these pamphlets out to people around town. So I just need to talk to one and hand them over, right? No problem. All right, have you finished giving everyone these out to everyone in Spinone? No, not quite. Still working on it. In the confusion of evacuation, you may get separated from family members. Choose a meeting place now and let your whole family know to go there if anything ever happens. There have been far more earthquakes recently than when I was a boy. I fear it means something nasty is going to happen. Can you read this to me? It says I should stay away from strangers? Don't worry, I know that much. That's just common sense. In Nippon, they use the latest technology to provide prevention mail. All the latest tips on disaster prevention direct to you. A pretty impressive system. After a large disaster, who knows when the shops will be open or when supplies will reach us. So buying some emergency supplies and water is a good idea. Thinking ahead will help you survive. Let's see, tell someone in your family when you go out. Oh, I didn't tell anyone that I'm here today. I hope my mom isn't too worried. The city is safe at the moment, allowing a relaxed and quiet life. But who knows when a disaster may strike. I'll keep this pamphlet safe. Thanks. I heard on the radio that a giant monster just suddenly appeared. Does that mean a big disaster is coming? Now that's preparation, now that's preparation. This is a city of water, after all. There's a danger of flooding when it rains too hard. One has to stay away from the canals, then. I've given them all out. Better get back and let Amoru know. Just ride that upstream, somehow. All finished, Mamoru. Thank you so much, Red. Here's something for your trouble. I guess I'll be going. Okay, see you again. Two dots. Waterway wipeout. There's rubbish collecting in the waterways and it's polluting the canal water. We need someone to clean it up. Come to the water gate. Oh, I have to take the gondola. Yeah. Here to clean the waterways? Hello. That's right. How do we do this thing? Well, yes, of course. First thing is to get into the sewer system. That's where cleaning is needed the most. Some of the garbage is even under the water. Head over there anyway. I'll give you more details once you are on site. So I made it to the sewer. Now what do I have to do? 
You see that garbage can nearby? Yeah, right in front of me. I'm sure you see garbage lying around too, yeah? I need you to throw it all into the can. You could carry the garbage can around with you too. Please clean the whole place up. Garbage. Oh, they're making me actually do the whole drain thing again. Okay. Oh, interesting. They cut the room in the middle between these two areas is, is gone. They, like, don't have it in this mission. Whoa, there's still loads more! No wonder the water is dirty. Two points. Looks like the last stinking piece. This big cleanup is complete. Good work. Bring the garbage can up with you, please. Oh, you can't actually slide up the stairs. <laughs> Thank you. The waterways are clean again, thanks to you. Here's your reward. It isn't much, I know, but please take it. Thanks for all your help. See you again! Cleared, baby. Got 10 minutes before I want to stop streaming. I uh, think I might be able to do the battle arena. Why my tail? That's one of the battle themes. I don't want to do the Davern Islands yet because that is a, uh, a really cool area with a unique gimmick and I don't want to start that tonight. I want to kick off tomorrow's stream with that. Fan day. Oh, this is actually worth points. Show your gratitude to those who root you in these intense times. We'll be giving some dual tips to those special fans who also want to be a hunter. Oh yeah, this is one of those special gimmick battles. Special dual training for a fan, huh? You mean a fan of mine? Well, of course! Her name is Toffee, a real nut about you, Red. She says she wants to see more of your brilliant duels. Seriously? <laughs> You're trying to make me blush or something. No, no, not at all. You're the new face that everyone expects big things from, after all. And also a great crowd-pleasing fighter that'll bring in more customers. 
Are you okay? Did your stomach hurt or something? No, I'm fine. So what's this training all about? Nothing major. All you need to do is fight duels that'll make your fans happy. That'll be the perfect training in how to duel. Simple enough. I'll go and get ready then. Oh my, oh my, oh my, it's red. The one and only. Huh? I can't believe it's really you. Oh my, I don't know what to say. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, who are you? Why are you in here? Enough, Red. All fighters need to treat their fans with respect. So this is my fan, huh? I'm Toffee. Great to meet you. After first seeing you in battle, I was so excited. I've been dreaming about you ever since. I'm a hunter too, but I'm so weak I just messed up all the time. So I want to learn to be able to fight like you. <laughs> Okay then, I'll be sure to put on a good show for you today. Watch and learn. I will. I'll be rooting for you and learning from you at the same time. Looks like they're ready for me. This is it. I'm getting nervous. Are you red? Are you? Nervous? Me? I'm not even gonna break a sweat out there. Wow, so cool. Cool and calm. Of course. Time to get to work. I'll be cheering for you all the way. I'm rooting for you. Maybe it's time to buy a piece of uh, custom equipment here. Got quite a few rings. Uh, Revive C, I'm not buying that, no. Uh, Hydrox plus five. Hydrox plus seven. Hydrox plus 10. I might just go for that to be able to quickly lift shit. Alright, Hydraulics plus 11. Like I said before, I think in my completed file with three full playthroughs, I have like plus 50 in every stat. I'll be cheering for you from the stands. Ladies and gentlemen, the match you've all been waiting for has arrived. The special exhibition match as a reward to all of our loyal fans. You fledgling hunters who dream of becoming the fighters of tomorrow. Let the bravery of one of the best among our current fighters fuel your future ambitions. Yeah. Yeah. And without further ado, here we go. Round one. Ado is spelled wrong. May the fighting begin. You called for him. Here he is. The lone robot rider. The one and only Red. Oh, this is really exciting. I'm gonna kick some tail. Watch me win, everyone. I will. Show us something amazing. Red Hunter Warrior, how will he handle these vicious monsters? Round one. Ready? Go! Oh, I thought this was a gimmick fight. It's just a bunch of monsters, I guess. Settles it. The winner of round one is the Lone Robot Rider Red. It's one win for me. Wonderful, Red. You're so cool. Congratulations. So heroic, Red. You made it look so easy. I told you, didn't I? Didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, you were right. Round two is about to start. Please come to the reception when you are ready to take part. It's that time again already. Your next opponent looks pretty tough. Will you be okay? I like him tough, don't worry. I'm gonna win just like always. I knew it. Just what I was thinking. Just you watch me. I'm gonna win within three minutes just for you. Oh, here are the gimmicks. You will? That's a promise. I'll keep you to that. No problem.
Don't forget your promise. I won't. Red is on a high after his win in round one. What amazing battle will he show us next? Round two, here it comes. The blazing red light of hope that leads fledglings back onto the one true path. The one and only, the lone robot rider, Red. Oh, Red, you're gonna win within three minutes, right? Yeah, tie me if you like. Wow, this is something special. Red has declared a self-imposed rule. Red, Red, we expect no less. Sorry, my effort is gone at this point. Huh? Very well then, Red will lose the match if he takes longer than three minutes to win. You turned it into a full-blown rule now? You're getting carried away again, you always do this. No problem, just have to win within three minutes. Can he win within three minutes? There's only one way to find out. Round two, ready? Go! Yeah, look how quickly I'm lifting him up now. in a minute. That's it! The winner of round two is the Lone Robot Rider Red! How was that? You did exactly what you said you would. That's how a real hunter does it. I didn't think they'd go so far to add the time limit to the rules. But the crowd was loving it! I was loving it too, Red. Wow! <laughs> Pretty cool, wasn't I? The final round is about to start. Please come to the reception desk when you're ready to take part. Heroic Red, what self-imposed rules are you going to fight under this time? What? I have to do that again? I think you should. The audience is expecting it. Okay, well then, well, I'll defeat my opponent within a minute this time. So cool, so, so cool. I'm becoming more and more your fan. <laughs> this guy is so easy to bait. The crowd is going to go wild now. Let's do this then. Time to go all out. To say you win within one minute? I'm so impressed. I'm looking forward to your self-imposed rules in the final round. Oh. I'm ready. Final round. I'll support you with all I have. Good. You pay attention and you'll learn a lot. <laughs> I'll do that. The main event, the final round of our Fan Day Extravaganza. After beating his self-imposed time limit in round two, I know you are all crazy for more. Grabbing victory with his left, raising glory with his right. The one and only, the lone robot rider, Red. And I must say, I shall end this within one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Red has made another declaration of a self-imposed rule. You will lose the round if you take longer than one minute. Are you sure, Red? Yeah, Red, are you sure? You understand what this means? I'm a man of my word. If I say I'll do something, I'll do it. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, Red, you're so heroic. Final round is going to be a tough one. Can he really do this within a minute? Final round. Ready? Go! Uh 
that if I did for them both at the same time. That's it! Victory in the final round, all thanks to the support of all you fans. A lone robot rider, his name? Red! That's me! Great work, Red. You're just the greatest. Everyone's thirsty for Red. Cool, Red. Very cool. I want to see you fight again now. You are unpredictable. Well done, Red. You are really great. I kind of slipped into the other voice there. Hey, even all that was no problem for someone like me. Here's your fight money. Spend it wisely. 1,200 rings. Wow. Thanks. Uh, oh yes, Toffee wants to talk to you. I'll see you later. R -r -r Red, I have something to tell you. Tell you something important. Red. Hey, Chocolat, did you see me in action? Shush, you need to be more careful. If you lose, you don't get any fight money. You know that, right? Y yeah, but I did win. No need to get so excited, right? Excuse me, Red. Who who's this girl? Sorry, of course. This is my kid sister, Chocolat. So she's his sister. Still doesn't explain why he lets her talk to him like that. She keeps me in line and is pretty strict, actually. Only because I have to be. Oh dear, I had a totally different image of Red than this. Huh? Something wrong? No, nothing. It's nothing. I'm cutting your allowance, Red. You're down to ten rings for a while. Hold it, I'm not standing for that. Fifty rings at least. No, no, you have to repent for the foolish actions you've done. Red, how pathetic. So did you learn a lot today? Yes, a lot of things. All sorts of things. That's great. Well, see you again. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Red. Goodbye. All of my dreams. And there shouldn't be any more. Nope. I think we're good here. Let's see. There's no new quests open anywhere, right? Nope. Next, it's to the new area. Do I have any... No, I don't have enough to do anything else here. Alright then. Time to save. Okay. That was a pretty good first stream clocked in at just over three hours, uh, even though I started a little later. Uh, I am so happy to be experiencing this game again, and I can't wait to stream more of it. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow and Wednesday, and then I'll probably take Thursday off and come back Friday, and then stream uh, Creepy Castle on Saturday or Sunday and try to get that game done. Ultimately, I would like this game done before Thursday of next week, so I'm all good for Hyrule Warriors, but uh, we'll see what happens. I uh, had a lot of people come by tonight. Thank you very much for your viewership. Always appreciate it. Thank you for following. Uh, you all have a great evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.